The Navy's new 10-week basic military training program is the biggest overhaul in nearly 20 years. In previous videos, a deep dive captured the events of the in-processing and indoctrination phases of the basic military training program. In this video, we will deep dive into the militarization phase of the program. The militarization phase occurs during days 23 through 42. Classes continue. Included in the list are Warrior Toughness, Sexual Assault Prevention and Recovery, Focusing on the Fleet, Life Skills, Suicide Prevention, Operational Stress Control, Damage Control, Firefighting, and Basic Seamanship. Let's begin our deep dive into the militarization phase of the program with Marlin Spike Seamanship Training. Here the recruits learn and practice the art of handling and working with all kinds of fiber and wear rope. It includes every variety of knotting, splicing, fancy work, and servicing ropes. These photos feature recruits learning the proper care and method of handling line and wire rope. Practicing these techniques are an essential part of a sailor's job as a seaman. By the end of the third day, recruits are tested on getting the USS Marlin Spike underway and back to port safely as a team. Successful completion of this vigorous training will put them one step closer to their final hurdle, Battle Stations 21. Recruits receive hands-on training and instruction on the proper weapons handling protocols and firing stances, or an M9 Beretta, as a part of weapons familiarization training at the Small Arms Marksmanship Trainer at RPC. At SAMT, recruits are given the opportunity to disassemble, reassemble, and perform a functional check of an M9 Beretta. They are also taught how to properly handle the weapon, as well as various firing stances and safety protocols. Ultimately, recruits fire a simulated version of the M9 and are given one-on-one -on -one instruction for ways to improve their performance before moving on to their live fire training evolution. All recruits must successfully complete SAMT on their journey to graduating boot camp and becoming a sailor. During the training, some recruits may qualify to receive a pistol ribbon to wear on and following graduation. There are three levels associated with the ribbon, marksman, sharpshooter, and expert. Next, let's look at damage control and firefighting at the USS Chief. Here you see recruits practicing damage control techniques. They have learned about performing emergency repairs to prevent flooding 
using emergency pipe patches, plugging, and shoring. Recruits remove and stow their working uniforms. They stand at attention, waiting for the inspector. The recruit chief petty officer stands at parade rest at the hatch to greet the inspector. The RPOC is responsible for tracking the time needed for the recruits to change into their inspection uniform. They make final adjustments to their covers, belts, and gig lines. The RPOC tracks and sounds off the time. Attention on deck. The inspector asks a recruit a general order of a sentry. As a final gesture, they render a salute, concluding their inspection. Finally comes the end of the militarization phase and a test of the recruits' knowledge so far. Best of luck to those recruits as they prepare for the evaluation phase of their training. Hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Join me next week when we dive into the evaluation phase, days 43 through 56.